Praise Yahweh Almighty. Praise His holy name. Praise to Yahweh Almighty. Okay, guys, I was going to talk about uh, one subject, and I pray to Father Yahweh to guide me in what I should pray about. And it was something that I thought about before, and it just came right back to my, to my mind. And it was about artificial coloring. How artificial coloring is destroying the youth of this nation. And these colorings are making kids very hyper, uncontrollable. They have been known to give out ADHD, uh, hypertension, I mean, you name it, cancer, red number 40, just in Cheetos, and a lot of cereals today, and Kool-Aid. They're made out of uh, petroleum, the same stuff you use for, uh, to put in your car, fuel for your car, gas, uh, diesel. These are byproducts of petroleum, artificial coloring, red number 40, blue number 1, yellow number 5, yellow number 6. They, uh, if somebody has... Um, uh, has a little bit of schizophrenia or has depression or mental issues, this could drive them over to the other side where they could commit suicide or they end up in a mental institution because colorings, um, they give you a sense of hopelessness because your body is not made for these chemicals. It's like going to a gas station and say, give me a cup of gas and drinking it. But they hide it and they disguise it and then they make it like you can't really taste it, but you can see it, but your brain knows and your body knows the difference. I mean, I've seen people eat artificial coloring, red number 40, and become very aggressive. And even to a point where they start hallucinating, thinking that people are watching them. I mean, they were normal all day long. All of a sudden, they ate some Popeye's chicken or Kentucky Fried Chicken. And all of a sudden, they're like, somebody's watching me from the kitchen. I mean, from the, from the restaurant kitchen. Or they become very aggressive towards you or they start crying and they uh, have a reaction that is amazingly horrifying to see somebody that you know, that you know is normal, act this way because of these artificial colorings. Did you know in Britain, if anything has artificial coloring, you have to put a warning sign on it. Warning, this could affect your children, and so on and so forth. So what they did, the big companies like Kraft and all these big companies, they don't put artificial coloring over there because they don't want their products to be associated with something that causes cancer. Okay? They don't want to be associated with something that makes your children hyper uncontrollable or it could give them ADHD or it just makes them um, a person that has no control over his life because of all these chemicals that are coming into him. From the, from the moment he wakes up in the morning to the moment he goes to bed at night, he is being fed petroleum products. So, I personally see people when they eat coloring how they act. How it doesn't let you learn. One of the effects of coloring, it, the artificial coloring, what it does, it takes your brain and it doesn't let it absorb information. Uh, I know a girl that she, she ate a lot of hot chips when she was little, she told me. She used to eat hot chips almost every day. This girl, because she wanted to do something in her life, 
have to study three times more harder than a normal human being because of all the calories she put in her body. Because the brain is not able to absorb, I mean, absorb information like a normal brain because it's full of these petroleum products. So mothers, fathers, children, everyone, anyone that's watching this YouTube, I'm begging you, start taking the coloring out of your life. If you see a bag of chips and it says red number 40, like Cheetos, don't eat it. Find another chip that doesn't have red number 40. If you see um, uh, your strawberry cake or your strawberry um, little tasty thing they got, and they got like these uh, fruit bars and all that, and it has red number 40, don't buy it. You're poisoning your body, your mind, and a chance of you getting cancer in the future. One lady was telling me that her daughter always ate, ate a lot of hot chips to the point that her intestines started getting affected. It, it affected her stomach, her intestines, everything. She had to ban her from artificial coloring. Same thing like Gila number five, that's in the product Goya, Sazon. I mean, this beloved company that was so beloved by his people, by all these people that love Goya, it feels betrayed because they put artificial coloring in their sasson. Red number 40, yellow number 5, yellow number 6. They put it in their hot sauce, red number 40. What is that? What is Goya doing? This company that produces such fine quality products has, fall, has fallen into the same scam as other companies selling our children the adult poison. Ought to make a few dollars more? What is it? A penny extra is going to hurt the bottom line? Guys, Goya, Kraft, Fritos, I mean, I mean Cheetos, all you companies that are poisoning the American people and all the people in the world, take out the artificial colorings out of our diet and go to more natural, go to natural products. They're out there. Have the company switch and this together. You, the, all of us, ban this from all the human beings. Because your customers are ending up in mental hospital, ending up in places that are uncontrollable where they can't even get to your products because you're destroying them. It's like cigarettes. Cigarettes destroys you. You're killing all your customers with this artificial coloring. Blue number one is horrible. It makes you very aggressive. It can make you cry. It can make you depressed. Red number 40, same effect. I mean, it makes people uncontrollable. The crime rate, when you hear about these people doing these mass killing, they're taking a certain type of pill because they were raised on coloring and they had no control. So they, they can't control themselves, so they give them these pills for ADHD and the chemical and those pills combined with the coloring makes them go and do these shootings. I beg you, stop the massacre. Stop the artificial coloring. Artificial coloring will and could and will definitely give you cancer, which could make your children uncontrollable. I see ladies give their kids Cheetos. Ten minutes later, the kids all over the place. And I say, lady, why if you want to control your child, why are you giving them junk? That is the reason why your kid is uncontrollable. Oh, I understand. He's always uncontrollable. But look what you're giving him. Artificial coloring. Stop the artificial coloring. 
let's band together, let's stop this junk. And we, as a nation, will be a better nation. Did you know there's a lot of countries in Europe that ban artificial coloring? You can't even buy it in France. Red number 40 at McDonald's for the strawberry, whatever they call those things, the strawberry uh, Sundays has real strawberry, real strawberry color. Over here, they use red number 40. Okay? They have figured out in some of these European countries that this coloring garbage, petroleum, is destroying their children and giving cats to the adults. And even if you're an adult and you have a, a, a little bit of a depression or schizophrenia or, or bipolar or anything like that, you can have a little bit, but you have it in control. You eat these calories, you become out of control. You could kill somebody, you could hurt yourself, you could think life is hopeless. A lady told me, her son, he has a bipolar. And he's really, she had him, she was feeding him natural stuff, and the guy was calm and cool. Real nice, real, real collector. All of a sudden, he gets her money. He went and started buying all kinds of junk. The Cheetos, the chips, the artificial coloring, all the junk that he was supposed to eat. Before you know it, the kid was very aggressive, real mad at everything and anything, making up stuff. And, be, and before you know it, he tried to kill himself. Because your brain can't handle all these chemicals. You understand? So, I'm begging you in the name of Yeshua. In the name that is holy, Yahweh Almighty. With Yeshua. And with the guidance. With the comfort of the Holy Spirit of Yahweh. Help us all to take control of this nation. And ban artificial coloring from the whole world. And this, I'm begging, I'm begging Yahweh to put it all in our minds and our body and soul to uh, take us away from artificial coloring. And they have different names for that artificial coloring. So make sure you get yourself familiar with those artificial coloring names because they put different names to throw you off. But it's still made from chemicals. It is uh, petroleum, which is made... That's what they use to make gas and diesel. And that's what's going in our body. And that's why our body's acting the way it acts. Personally, I cannot eat artificial coloring at all. I cannot eat it. I mean, I'm, I'm fine. Everything is great. I drink some coffee mix. Can you believe it? They put artificial coloring in coffee mix. I put that. I don't see it. That it has artificial color because I could... I, could, I couldn't see it that good. So I, it doesn't have it to me. I drink it. I go home. About three or four hours later, I'm feeling sad and depressed. And I'm like, what am I feeling sad and for? What am I feeling, feeling and bad and sad? My bills are paid. I worship the Almighty Yahweh. I worship His Son. And with the help of the Holy Spirit, I'm guided. Everything's good. I have no headaches, no problem. The kids are doing good at school. Why am I feeling like this? And I'm like, uh-huh. Okay. The next day I went to the same place. I looked really good. And sure enough, I had it right there between the lines. Artificial coloring. I'm very sensitive to that. And there's a lot of people like me that are sensitive to artificial coloring because I am always happy, I'm always feeling good, I'm always all right. And why is it when I put that garbage in me, I feel like somebody else? Okay? There's nothing to it because I basically eat very good food all the time. Even the sugar that I use is cane sugar. I'm going to use that white refined sugar. I, everything that I eat has to be brown. Whole grain breads. Everything whole grain. Pretty much very healthy stuff. 
One time I eat some garbage or whatever. It's like on the weekend I eat some pizza but with a lot of uh, with naturally no no pork, just beef or chicken or something like that, but with plenty of vegetables. And I'll eat I'll eat once in a while some Popeyes or some once in a while. Once in a while. But it's not an everyday thing. I don't drink pop every day. If I drink pop, I drink pop once a month. Some of you maybe like drinking pop, drink it maybe once a week. Try to stay away from the coloring. And you and your children will do good. You want to know why your children are out of control? There it is, artificial coloring. Start taking that away from him. Uh, and if he's, when you start taking it away, start taking away some of that chocolate. Try to go to more natural products that are out there. There's chips, like Cheetos, with cheese and all that, that are naturally cheese. Okay? And you will do well. So, uh, this is your friend. Remember, no artificial coloring in your life or in your children's life anymore. And in the name of Yahweh, Yeshua, and his set apart spirit of Yahweh, pl uh, please hear my request to you and my prayer. Hallelujah.